Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Volvo 240 Drift Wagon. This is not a new casting for this year, but it was a new casting last year, and hence this casting has only had one previous release to this one, which we are taking a look at today. This is the only other release which I am talking about, and this car features in the 2022 N case in this lovely maroon red kind of colour here. And this car does feature in the 2023 Q case, it is a brand new release for that mix, it also does have a super treasure hunt. I will also mention that this car does feature in the Hot Wheels Slammed Mini Series for 20 2023 and it's car number 4 out of 5 in that set. I will also mention that this is car number 245 out of 250 for 2023. But I will quickly mention where I actually found this car then. So I found this car in a local Aldi store at the price of £1.69. That's sort of the standard price here in the UK for main lines. But anyways, it's not very often that Aldi stores get Hot Wheels in. They classify it as a special buy and essentially that means once they are gone, they're gone. They don't get them in very often at all and when I say that, I mean that. Like it's like over a year sometimes before they get another mix of them but it was really pleasantly surprising to see that Aldi stores were getting cube cases and the way I actually found out that they were going to be getting these cube cases was through a Facebook group. People were making loads of commotion about Aldi stores getting cube cases. So I went to my local Aldi store on a Saturday and there was absolutely nothing in there like no Hot Wheels at all and I was super disappointed but then I was looking through the comments under that post and people were saying don't worry if your local store hasn't put any out yet they have been getting a memo and they're supposed to put the cars out on Monday morning. So I went back on Monday morning and voila, there were five fresh cases completely untouched there. I got all the new castings I wanted, all the new recolors and everything else that I wanted. I even got two treasure hunts. But unfortunately, there were no super treasure hunts there, but that's totally fine. They're really rare here in the UK and honestly, I don't collect for the rare stuff. I just collect what I like and this is definitely a car that I like. But anyways, let me give you some facts about the real life cars. So in real life, most of these cars were equipped with a red block Volvo 2 litre or 2.3 litre inline 4 engine. The 2.3 litre engine had 114 horsepower and 136 pound feet of torque converting to 185 newton meters of torque. This car also had a top speed of around 112 miles per hour or 180 kilometers per hour and this car was also rear wheel drive hence it can be a drift car. The most popular transmission option for this car was a 5-speed manual, but there were also automatic transmission options available too. And this car also had a 0-60 time in 12 seconds, and now has a value of around £4,000, and that converts to about $4,950. And when this car was new, it had a starting sticker price of around $21,715, and that converts to about £17,500 here in the UK. But anyways, that is it for the facts about this thing, now let's move on to my showcase of the Hot Wheels model. Alright, so kicking off this showcase, and we'll first of all take a look at the side of this car, and I'll first of all mention the wheel choice on this thing. So this car is rolling on two different wheels, in the rear it is rolling on the steely 8 slot wheels which first debuted in 2017, and on this car, as with all main lines, they have been moulded in black plastic, and these wheels do actually have a chrome blue lip painted onto them. And for the front wheels, these are the 10 spoke Y design wheels which first debuted in 2023, and these wheels have been painted in white. It's super nice to see that this car does have mismatched wheels since this is a Volvo 240 drift wagon and in real life lots of drift cars do actually have mismatched wheels so really awesome attention to detail there from the Hot Wheels team. I've seen quite a lot of people asking is this an error on my car are they supposed to be mismatched? Yes they are so don't worry at all. As for the actual colour on this thing then it is all painted in this really interesting lime green but this is not just a glossy colour it does actually have a metallic look to it and it does actually have a yellow metal flake in that paint. And this Mazda Savannah RX-7 which features in the 2023 C case also shares this exact same colour with this Volvo. Really interesting colour on this thing though and it does actually look pretty cool on this car. Especially paired up with the temple work on the side of this thing which there is plenty of it. First of all we do have the Volvo writing which has been done in black temple. We also do have the 240 writing being done in white temple. And that 240 writing does actually have a black background to it which is of course been tampled on there in black. I will also mention that we do have eight different stripes featuring along the side of this car. 
Four of these stripes have been done in white tampo and four of these stripes have been done in black tampo. The four black stripes are actually just one stripe technically as they do actually connect onto each other. Really nice look there. It's a really interesting look but it does look fantastic on this car. I'm a big fan. We also do have the Hot Wheels logo being tampoed on here in white and finally we do have the Yokohama sponsor featuring on the side of this thing being tampoed on here in a mixture of white and red tampo. If you don't know what Yokohama produced, they manufacture a wide variety of different tyres for vehicles. Anyways, that is it for the temple work on the side of this thing then, so now onto the metal casting and plastic usage. So first of all, I will mention that the front and rear bumper of this car do continue around to the side of this car, and they have been created through the black base plastic. I will also mention that the side skirt of this car has been created through that same black base plastic, and I will also mention that this car does have dual exit side exhausts, which have been created through the grey interior plastic. Next up onto the actual metal casting then, I will mention that this car does actually have wing mirrors and I will also mention that the front door handles of this car have been moulded into the metal casting but the rear door handles haven't. That's a really interesting design there. I'm guessing that's just to kind of make this thing look a little bit more modified from the Hot Wheels team. I will also mention that the side marker or indicator light does also feature in the metal casting here and finally I will mention that all the side windows of this car are wound up. I will also mention that all the windows of this car do actually have a blue tint to them. Anyways that is it for the side of this thing now let's move on to the front of this car. Alright, so taking a look at the front of this car then, the detail here is fantastic. There's no tampo work here, but there's plenty of detail in the form of plastic usage. So first of all, I will mention that the headlights of this car have been created through the blue window plastic of this car. I will also mention that the front grille portion of this car has been created through the grey interior plastic, and that front grille does include lots of different vents moulded into that plastic, and it also does have the iconic Volvo badge, as well as the line which goes through the entirety of the front grille. Super iconic look, it's great that the Hot Wheels team have represented this in this casting. Really nice attention to detail there. And next up, I'll mention that the entirety of the front bumper portion of this car has been created through the black base plastic. And this front bumper does include three different vents. These are really quite small vents and they're not holes in the plastic. They are simply just indentations. And it also does include one tow hook, which does actually protrude from the rest of the front bumper of this car. Really nice levels of detail there. But anyways, that is it for the front of this thing. So now let's move on to the next side of this car. Alright, so taking a look at the next side of this car then, it is the exact same as the previous side so I'm not going to bore you with going over everything all over again. You can pause the video here for yourself if you're looking for something specific, if not let's move straight onto the rear of this car. Alright, so taking a look at the rear of this car then, the detail does not stop yet, so let's get straight into it. First of all, I will mention that the rear lights of this car have been tampoed on here in a realistic look. These rear lights do include the brake lights, the reverse lights, and also the turn signal or indicator lights. The brake lights of this car have been tampoed on here in red, as you would expect. The reverse lights of this car have been tampoed on here in white, as you would expect. And the turn signal or indicator lights have been tampoed on here in this yellowish orange, as you would expect as well. I will also mention that the Volvo writing does return to the rear of this car being tampoed in black and I will also mention that the 240 writing also does return to the rear of this car in that same black tampo. I will also mention that this car does actually have a license plate tampoed onto the rear of this thing as well and that license plate has been tampoed on here in this yellowish orange colour and this license plate also does have the word slammed on it which has been tampoed in black. The reason why it does say slammed is simply because this car does feature in the 2023 Hot Wheels slammed mini series. Anyways, that is it for the tampo work on the rear of this thing then. So now onto the plastic usage and metal casting. So first of all, I'll mention that the trunk spoiler of this car does feature moulded here in the metal casting. It's not a separate plastic piece. I'll also mention that the license plate holder portion of this car does feature here moulded into the metal casting in the form of an indentation. I would also like to mention that the trunk handle of this car does feature in the metal casting as well, in the form of a protrusion from the rest of the body of the car, and I would also like to mention that the two license plate lights also do feature in the metal casting here. This is accurate to the real life car. Awesome attention to detail here from the Hot Wheels team. I would also like to mention that the rear bumper portion of this car has been created through the black base plastic. This rear bumper does include three more vents, very similar to the front bumper of this car. These are not holes in the plastic, they're simply just indentations. And this car also does have a tow hook featuring in this rear bumper portion as well. So pretty much the exact same as the front bumper portion. Finally, I'll mention that there are actually two dogs featuring in the trunk of this car. Really cool to see that there, and they are created through the grey interior plastic, a really interesting detail which I know a lot of people were shocked about when we saw this as a new casting last year. 
Finally, I'll mention that this card does not actually have a rear window. Instead, you can put your finger right through it. I'll show you that now. There you go. No rear window there. Anyways, that is it for the rear of this car, now let's move on to the top of this thing. Alright, so taking a look at the top of this car then, the detail does not stop yet. I'll mention that you can see the trunk spoiler of this car featuring in the metal casting from a top view. You can also see two bulges featuring in the roof of this car as well, I believe these are actually representing two brackets holding this spoiler onto the rest of the car. Next up onto the roof of this car then, I will mention that this car does have a sunroof which is being created through the window plastic. Of course, this sunroof does have a blue tint to it. This is because the windows of this car do have a blue tint, which I've already mentioned. Next up, onto the windshield of this car then. I will mention that this car does not have any windshield wipers, but I think that's actually okay, as neither does the car art. So I think this is an intentional kind of modification the Hot Wheels team have done to this car in the form of a windshield wiper delete. So I'm not going to mark this car down for missing that detail. I will also mention that this windshield does actually have a sun strip, which has been created through the metal casting. Awesome detailing there, and once again, that is accurate to the card art. Really nice to see that consistency there. We also do have two vents featuring near the windshield of this car in the metal casting. These are simply just indentations. They're not holes or shutoffs in the metal casting, but they're nice to see there nonetheless. Next up, I'll mention that this hood does actually have a large hole in it. Now, this is in the form of a shutoff or hole in the metal casting, and you can actually see part of the engine of this car through that hole. That part of the engine has been created through the grey interior plastic. Really nice levels of detail there and it does make this car look a lot more modified. And once again, this detail does feature on the card art. It's nice to see that consistency once again. I would also like to mention that if you would like to add your own details to this engine to make it look a lot more modified or just more detailed in general, you could use Sharpie or acrylic paint to do so. Oh, and one final thing which I do want to mention is the hood of this car does actually have a bulge in the metal casting. That is a design cue which does feature on the real life Volvo 240. Anyways, that is it for the top of this thing. And that is also it for my showcase of this car. So now let's move on to my final thoughts and review on this thing. Alright, so now it is time for my final thoughts and review on this car. I'm a big fan of this release. I don't know which one is better, the original release in red or this green version. I think they're both fantastic and I love them both. Unfortunately, I was not able to ever find the red one in the wild it is a really nice one too it was a new casting last year and i think that's why it was quite desirable but this one's also quite popular since it does have a super treasure hunt and people want to find the super treasure hunt and also one of the regular ones there's also a lot of people who end up picking this car up thinking it's the super treasure hunt and it's not they do have some differences but they are quite similar still but yeah really cool car indeed I really do like this release. I love everything about it from the colour choice to the plastic usage, the wheel choice, the tamper work, it's all just great. The coolest thing about this car though in my opinion is the cool little dogs which feature in the trunk of this thing created through the green interior plastic. What a cool little detail which I don't think anybody was expecting on this car. It's just awesome. I really do like this thing indeed. Way more than I initially thought I would. When I first saw this release on Ministry of Diecast channel in this green colour, I wasn't a big fan of it. I didn't really like the colour, but once you get it in person, I really do think it looks better than on camera, and I definitely do recommend you pick this car up. I think you will love it. But anyways, that does lead me onto my score out of 10 for this thing, so what am I going to give this car out of 10? It is going to be receiving a totally deserved 9.5 out of 10. What a fantastic release of this casting. I can't wait to see where this thing pops up next. Hopefully it comes to premium. I think that would look fantastic with some real riders on it. The Super Treasure Hunt looks great with those real riders. But yeah, I can't wait for future releases of this car. No doubt they will look fantastic no matter where this car pops up next. If I was to guess though, it's probably going to come to the premium mainline next in my opinion. And it'll probably come to some kind of wagons set in the near future. But there you go. That is it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Remember you can also press that notification bell so you do not miss new uploads. Remember you can also share this video any friends family on any groups who may be interested but remember don't feel pressure to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested you watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me and i really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point but anyways that is it for this video so i hope you guys did enjoy and i really do hope to see you guys in the next one bye bye everyone